Well, I'm inside a nice little hospitality unit and I can see you on the screen as well. Look who I've been joined by. Jonathan Davis, Tim Hemman, Gavin Hastings, elite company I'm in. And these guys have been here all week and why is that, Tim? Um, because we are very lucky to be ambassadors with HSBC. So uh, we got here Wednesday night. We've had, um, had a couple of brilliant days in here, out on the course, watching all the action. So uh, more of the same over the weekend. What he really means is they get a nice breakfast, a nice lunch, yeah. and probably a nice dinner and a few Absolutely. drinks to go with it. Uh, I am joking, but it's lovely that you guys are here and meeting people every day and out on the course. And are you all big golf fans too? Yes, we are. They're very good golfers. I think Tim's off scratch. Should be off plus two. <laughs> Gavin's off six because that, that's all he does, just play golf. And I'm off, uh, you know, more 12. A so, more respectable uh, figure, more I'd respectable say. 12. An honest on handicap, I have to say. Yeah, an honest, yeah, quite on. right. Yeah. Well, Gavin, just tell me, you've obviously all passed sportsmen, you're still sportsmen, you're still involved in your games. What is it about the prof a professional sport and big events like this that just attract so much attention? Well, I think um, particularly golf, the opportunity to walk down the fairways um, that, that have been graced by just legendary players. And, uh, you know, and, and we've been lucky enough this, this week to be in the company of Gary Player and Colin Montgomery, and as well as Tim Henman. And, uh, you know, we, we just enjoy that. But everybody, everybody just loves golf. And, uh, you know, when you get an occasion such as the Open, you just want to be here. And we're, as Tim says, very, very lucky to be involved with HSBC. It is lovely to be here. It is a lovely event. And you were mentioning how golf is a lovely sport. And it's great to see people like with Gary Players downstairs. We're going to try and catch him later. Tom Watson. Everyone's still playing well. And quite frankly, you seem to play golf at any age, all the professionals. Yeah, that's the difference. You know, like Tom <laughs> Watson is still playing in the open. Like, in our sports, we, you know, we've got to retire. If you're lucky, 33, 34. So, uh, and, and the best thing is, you know, everyone can relate to it. You know, if you can hit maybe one shot which you you know just brings you back to play some more you know in the, in the game it's just but it's not just golf any sport where you have the opportunity to watch the top you know perform it's just a, just a great event and today fingers crossed we will have a lovely day we will no waterproofs today and you're quite right Tom Watson proved yesterday just how you can come back from any bad shot but Tim come on tell me if you guys all play golf together who's won who's the best who's the most competitive well we um I don't, I'm not sure we have but Gavin's a member at Muirfield so that's on the to-do list, never played there. That's tasty for next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Jiffy's at Porth, Porth Call, oh. and that's on the to-do list. They've, I, I'm Sunningdale, but they've all played Sunningdale, so I'm definitely, <laughs> I'm definitely <laughs> organising <laughs> games. Yeah. Yeah. You right. played in the uh, Irish Open recently. We got a deal, we got a deal. So yeah, it's, it's, I mean, that's the, the beauty of well, so many brilliant courses and so many that I haven't played, and, and they're um, both on the to-do list. Okay, well, we'll wait and see if you can play those great courses. Tim, I can't help but ask you a quick tennis question while I'm sat here. Andy Murray, Wimbledon. He took your he took your reigning semi-final title away. He went one step is better. Is it officially Murray's <laughs> man now, or is it going to be Hemmons Hill? I'm hanging on to it. I think. I think, I think if he wins it. I got to give it to him. But until now, it's heaven. So. If you'd have cried, you'd have been. Everyone would have loved you. Everyone would have loved you if you'd have cried. <laughs> right, back to golf. Who's going to win? Um, I think Tiger, if the weather stays like this over the weekend, I think he's going to be very difficult to beat. He's got a strategy, obviously, keeping the ball in play, and he's obviously putting very well. And that shot that he hauled from the bunker 18 last night was just pure Tiger, wasn't it? So, yeah, I, I think most people will think that he's favourite now. Um, I would love to see the wind get up a bit, but it's probably not going to do so. Great conditions for s low scoring today. Really interesting point that lots of people are saying they want the wind to get up because they just want it to be a little bit more of a challenge and the guys not be able to go too low today. But Bernard Langer said on the radio that Tiger is the only one who's got a plan. He'd be minus three first day, six under second day, nine under third day, and then just go for it in the last day. So uh, it was an interesting comment when he was one, one under, Bernard Langer said it on the radio. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how, how Tiger goes today. Forget rugby commentary. I think you can do golf commentary going forward. Well, you know, we all think we can <laughs> do things that uh, you know, but we we really can't stick to what you know. I say, <laughs> I'm just I just listened it on the radio. You know, so I get if you have Bernard on the radio, then come straight to me and I'll just say exactly what Bernard <laughs> said. Steal the information. Well, listen, if you're lucky enough to come into the HSBC marquee or the hospitality tent today, you'll probably see these three gentlemen who are here having a fantastic we'll time at Seeds, we'll or they'll be out working, working apparently. But pan around again, Jeff, because this just gives you an idea of us. We're up on the big screens all morning here this morning. So even in the HSBC tent, you can watch what we're up to.